SL Tal Dream Alter, the first game of a best of three. Shinobi, you are my co-caster and my hetero life partner at the moment. What is going on with you today? <laughs> Trying not to crack up at that comment, but I'm, I'm doing absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to be casting this, and surprisingly, we've had so many uh, Zerg versus Terrans today. It is absolutely crazy. It's a ZVT nightmare, I think, actually. No, I, I can't say nightmare. I'm a big fan of ZVT. I think it's probably the most dynamic matchup. Any unit can be used in this match. I can't even think of a unit that's not useful for both players. Reapers are great here. Uh, Zerg can use Hydras even. Hydras are actually a good counter to the Marine Marauder Death Ball. It's it's okay. I mean, Marines do equally as well against Hydras as Hydras do against Marines. It's, it's true, not but, really but I like I like uh, like Hydra laying Baneling. I mean, it's not completely economically feasible, but it's actually a decent enough counter. And Festers are definitely better, probably. But yeah, I, re I really like just going like Baneling Zergling against Marine Marauder. It really works out pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It definitely does. Who needs Mutas? Just give Who me links and forget. links. Who needs it? Just go straight up. Like I, when I'm MLG Columbus, Lucira made 103 Banelings. Oh no, oh not 103. 135 Banelings against uh, Slayers of May. I love that. That is just absolutely amazing. If it's a beautiful thing. I love Korean Zergs. And right now we see a pretty cool wall off by Four Kings Warden right here. And I, I like this wall off. It gives you a little space on the side. You can put a supply depot there. You can put a bunker there, depending on what you scout. Yeah, it's a really good decision by uh, Four Kings. That, that, that's the, this is the wall off that I was talking about last time when I, in the last game that I was telling. Uh, I forget. Yeah, who yeah, I, I remember. I remember. Okay, I'm glad. Yeah. Like that's it's my favorite wall off for Terran. I don't even like Terran, and that's, I, just, I know the Wallens. I'm just like you should build this wall in here. Speaking of Wallens, I love that he's putting a supply depot as a supply depot as a second wall for his main. Zergling runbys are so annoying as yeah. anyone against Zerg. But, uh, if they do manage to get past this first wall, you have your supply depots to hold them off while you build more of an army. The Terran player actually hasn't scouted where Saiku is yet. So uh, he is still moving around the map. When he sees that overlord, he'll probably know where uh, Saiku, uh, Saiku is spawning. And he does have his hatchery almost done right now. And spawning pool as well. He did get a yeah. pretty late spawning pool, I think. Yeah, he went for the, he went for my my favorite build again, the uh, Spanishi Wall style with the. I I think the yes. drinking game our drinking game needs to be edited to have every time you say Spanishi Wall someone has to do a shot because I, you say Spanishi Wall every single game it's kind of beautiful. I love Spanishi Wall. He is one of my favorite players in all this in the, like the entire game. You know who my you, favorite player is? Who? Combat X. Oh my God! Were you up at 3 a.m. last night listening to Combat X on Destiny's I stream? I was not. I'm sorry. It was the most beautiful thing ever. Combat X was telling Destiny in control, and I think Deezer and Cats and stuff how his life is the greatest thing ever, and they should all worship him. <laughs> it was the most beautiful <laughs> conversation I've ever heard, and I need to find really that vod and put it on YouTube. 4K. What? Oh yeah, this is this is. This is some pretty early aggression. I think he does have the Zerglings needed to take care of it. I mean, he might have to pull a drone or two, but actually the spine crawler finished, so... Yeah, he's in pretty good shape against this. He does pull off the drones. Very good. Be safe. Oh, is he going to get a good surround? Oh, the pathing system on StarCraft 2 not quite as perfect as it could be. And uh, Four Kings Warden slowly being deterred. And he is taking a good amount of Zerglings out. I don't know if he got a drone in that encounter. Let me well, see. Well, we could just look at the units lost. Units lost 66, and uh, that's not the one I was actually looking for. No. Well, I was looking for. Workers lost, right? Yeah. But uh, speed does finish for Saiku, which makes him pretty safe against these early pushes. And uh, he's playing pretty safe in general. He has speed up, he has his second base, he's producing drones. Has enough links to keep map control, pick off any reinforcing marines. And I don't think he's going to be pressured anymore if. Four wardens chooses to push it out in the next couple seconds, and I just yeah. got a case of the hiccups. Warden only managed to pick off one drone during that engagement, so so it's not a big deal. He was forced to produce a few links. Actually, you no, know I don't think he produced any links. No, I think he. No, I think he produced four. Oh, he did. Well, it's yeah. still pretty baller to only produce four links. And yeah, I have to admit, true. having the hiccups sucks when you're casting. I'm just like, oh, I hope no one hears me. Hiccup. <laughs> it's okay. We forgive you. Do you? Do you water. really forgive me? No, no. <laughs> no. I'm glad. I don't want to be forgiven. I want to be held accountable for missing a second of this awesome game. And there is another command center. Oh, wait. What am I talking about? His natural is just being taped in right now by 4K Warden. And uh, 
Yeah, it's going to transition to a two base versus three base game right now as the Zerg player is taking his third. And Terran, I'm really surprised uh, Warden doesn't have some sort of SCV scouting around trying to see if this third base is being taken because it's very important to deny that Zerg player easy expansions. Um, I think he doesn't want to bother with having that SCV out because he knows that Saiku has so many Zerglings out and probably knows that speed was on its way. Well, I'm an advocate of always knowing what your opponent is doing, never be taken by surprise. And uh, there is a, a, the ability to assess the fact that he, by not having so many Zerglings, his minerals would be, have, be spent elsewhere. So you can sort of assume that a third base is taken, but I don't know if 4K Warden did do that already. And uh, both players playing particularly safely. Bailing's being morphed by Saiku, plus one attack. Combat 4K shields for 4K. For a huge timing push right now with Combat Shield and Stim Pack going to be finished at about the ar around the oh, same yeah. time. That's, Saiku, that's cool timing. Yeah. Saiku, I don't know if he's going to have enough bailings to deal with this, but he definitely, if he gets a good surround and good positioning with his bailings, he's going to take care of this pro no problem because of the high number of marines. Well, I mean, one bailing in the middle of that army could take out 90% of it. Yeah, absolutely. And if a 4K Warden wasn't supply block, that would be much, much, much scarier of a push because uh, he would have had a whole other round of units in there. But uh, right now, we do have him pushing out with a fair amount of units moving towards the base. And what does Saiku really have to defend? Let me check the unit counting station. We have 29 Zerglings and 5... 5 Banelings. There are 23 Marines in their own right right now. So 4K Warden with a good spread does have the potential to do a lot of damage here. Very true. It really depends where he decides to attack. I mean, Saiku doesn't have the crew spread that he needs yet, but more, ba more Zerglings are coming out. He has the Spine Crawler and 3 Queens, but his 3 Queens are off creep, so they're going to be really useless here. Stim and Comet Shields have both completed, and the Banelings being picked off by our Terran player, and oh, are they going to get to those Marines? He's targeting them down, or trying at least. The Marauders picking off the Banelings, using that slow. The Queens off creep are being picked off by the Marauders. This might be a little bit of a mistake, and the Marine numbers are dwindling, and there aren't any reinforcements in sight, so I think that Saiku will pick this off after this next round of Lings pop out, but there is going to be a lot of damage done. Queens being taken down. No, not, not oh, actually, the Queen no. actually died because of great transfuse micro. Really? I time. wish I saw that. That would have been impressive. Yeah, those three queens managed to pick off those four marauders like they were nothing because of great, great, great transfuse micro. And uh, lings are being pulled out. He, they actually missed the marines. Pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, he oh, does go back. Saiku is <laughs> on his game right now. Those four <laughs> marines were praying that those Zerglings don't notice them. And then the last one was like, hey guys, I see something. <laughs> And I was like, huh? Oh, <laughs> And two factories were thrown down while this attack was coming out, and the starport. So he is going to transition into some heavy siege tank play, maybe even some uh, mech play com uh, com not combat shields. Medivac being built right now, so there will be another timing push on the way, I believe. Or he might um, just use this all to secure a third, I'm not completely sure yet. Yeah, I think he should definitely think about securing a third. I think he probably should have grabbed a third during that engagement. Um, the timing push didn't really deal the damage that it needed to, and he he managed to take out the army, and that's you know a major thing when taking your third base, is if your opponent doesn't have anything to counterattack with, you're safe to expand. Absolutely, and the Zergling is at the bottom of the ramp waiting to see if any aggression does happen. Four Kings Warren gearing up to take down... Oh, well, he, I bet he thinks that there's rocks there. Or maybe he's actually giving for it. No, he, yeah, he definitely thought there were rocks there. Probably assumed that this was the latter version of this map. And he moved out to take out the rocks, but there were no rocks. And now he is moving out. And it's an I interesting decision. I don't know if I agree with it. His army is much smaller, but it, he does have three siege tanks now. That is true. Is Baining speed finish, though? That is the know, real question. I don't know, but it's counterattack coming in right now, pushing in for those uh, mineral lines. He's actually going to try and pick off the siege tanks. Uh, oh, siege tanks get picked off. He does raise the mineral, but now he's just going to go straight for the mineral line. This is just, just such gonna... great zip play by the Zerg player, getting into that mineral line, using his cow his mobility to his advantage. But his main is pretty. I mean, he does have the adequate defenses necessary. But if there's a good siege tank placement, if there's good marine spread. There is the possibility that he could lose this engagement, but no, moving in perfectly, getting a great surround by those. Are those Banelings going to blow up the siege tanks? They do aim for them, and all the siege tanks being picked off. This marine army is not enough to do damage, but there are, is a drop in the main that's doing a good deal of damage to those overlords. But the Zerglings will clean that up, 
And wow, all that economic damage being done by our Zerg player. The worker count right now, 56 to 38. Saiku showing his medal against one of the best players in North America. Oh, wow, I'm like blown away. Saiku is actually as good as we think he is, Shinobi. Yeah, Saiku doing some amazing micro, managed to keeping so many drones alive. And let's take a look at how many workers were lost in comparison. 18 workers compared to, well, 18 workers killed on Saiku's end. He killed 18 workers compared to 4K Warden's 5. Just a huge uh, economic disadvantage for him. Right now it's 50, 61 drones to 43. Wow, just... I'm blown away by how well Psycho is playing right now. I, this Canadian player is actually a gem. I want to recruit him into imaginary team that I have. And his Zerglings are kind of in a heart right now. And that's how much I love Psycho. And he's morphing Banelings. Oh, how beautiful. But overall, I am so impressed. Baneling speed did finish right now, so it's going to be easier for him to clean up that Marine play. And four Marines being pumped out of time right now for our Terran player. So we're going to see exactly how effective it's going to be. I'm really interested as to why he didn't connect his main base to his natural through creep. Yeah, that is puzzling. But uh, there has been a lot of aggressive play, and oh, look at this Zergling run by, once again by Saiku, really abusing that mobility, such a great job. Oh, but that, oh that wall that he made early on is proving to be very menacing, and he the is picking up... The wall actually has a hole in it. If Saiku wanted, he could run right through it. Wow, that's, that's, that's it's pretty not ridiculous. not wall of but a huge drop into Saiku's natural right now. Yeah, he does have the units to clean up, but he needs a good engagement to really do it. Baneling moving in. Oh, will he get a good shot on the Marines? Great lift up by Four Kings Warden. Meanwhile, in the main, all of the SCVs have been... Frick, I'm such a bad observer. All the SCVs have been picked off. The natural still being under siege. The siege tank's taken out here. And uh, the drop not being too effective. Saiku solidifying his advantage here, taking out, keeping those siege tank numbers down. The economy is completely distraught for Fur King's Warden right now. He does have his third base up, but the moment that Saiku scouts it, it's going to be pretty much pretty difficult to defend it's, unless that planetary fortress goes up. One Zergling left in the base managed to take out an entire supply depot by himself. <laughs> that Zergling's going to go home and tell his friends about it. He'll morph into a Baneling. He Bane has commander. six kills right now, that one Zergling. He managed to take out another SCV. I'm going to call that the Shinobi Zergling, because he's as beautiful as you are, Shinobi. Oh, but I just died, apparently. Uh, that's, that's, that's oh, and another push <laughs> by 4K Warden. I do not agree with this. He does not I really wish he had some more Banelings right now, though. But, yeah, uh, he really needs those Banelings, but huge muta... Uh, and there's GG by 4K. Before I can even finish my sentence, huge muta count. Well, uh, that was actually a really intense game. Saiku is so good. He's so safe. He's so clever. And his multitasking is really to be admired. I've never even heard of this guy. And he just killed four Kings Warden. But he is just really impressive. His micro and macro are just phenomenal. He's really he has a found understanding of the game and what he needs to do on every different map, and he knows how to play it well. Well, to be fair, this was Taldrim Alter again. We've seen amazing things from Taldrim Alter specifically. It's very true. Yeah, uh, I, I I believe Warden does get to pick the next map. I'm sure he'll pick. Oh, he does Zelnaga. pick Zelnaga. Good choice, and probably has the most practice on it. I bet everyone in the game has the most practice on Zelnaga. <laughs> Probably. I have the most practice actually on a uh, on. Oh, what is it? Metalopolis. Yeah, Metalopolis probably. You're right. Maybe Metalopolis would be the most practice map. I'm not sure. It's definitely a split between the two. And wow, we have 21 viewers right now. Hello, viewers. I love you so much. Thank you for Three. watching. This is the CG StarCraft Two tournament sponsored by Memory Exper X X Memory XP whatever Asus and East Spot all awesome sponsors. And we are bringing you game two of Saiku vs. 4K Warden. And uh, with me is Shinobi. Shinobi, how awesome have the games been so far? Oh my god, I am in love with Saiku. I'm definitely going to like make a fan page for him later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh, he beat 4K Warden in Vancouver land. And then Team Liquid's <laughs> just going to be like, come on, noobs. Ban, 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 ban. <laughs> Team Liquid is so good at banning people. It's, it's impressive. Right, I've never been banned. Then again, I don't make any troll cards. Well, when uh, when Destiny left Complexity, I I posted that uh, Complexity is no longer being able to compete comp uh, competitively in the StarCraft II scene, and they banned me for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why. Uh, Complexity lost a great played. player in Destiny.
You should have put I M O in my honest or M I M H O in my honest opinion. I, I, I definitely should have. And uh, we are getting into our game number two right now between Four Kings Warden. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pretend I'm the I'm the caster right now. 